Yo, what's going on guys? We're gonna be playing some full AP Janna roam support with the new items I think support is the most broken role in the game because all you have to do is hit level 3 run around the map and win it by default It's best if you move along with your jungler because when you and your jungler show up in a lane It's so devastating. Janna does this extremely well because you don't have to rush boots on her due to her Zephyr movement speed And that allows you to get an early dark seal first back and roam straight off of there It allows you to go for free boots as well our Glacial, we can proc with our Tornado, so most ganks we're going to use Zephyr, land Tornado, point blank range, and then they're pretty much guaranteed dead. For our rooms, we have Glacial, Free Boots, Biscuits, Cosmic Absolute Gathering, Double AP Armor. We're going a full AP setup. Uh, Morello's so good, only 2200 gold, 90 AP, 15 ability haste. I don't know what they were thinking on that one. We'll go ahead and get this push in early. I think they're in our jungle, possibly. Or at least they were earlier. Getting the wave pushing is pretty nice for us early on. Get the pike away from hitting level two first. Get him with the Zephyr, bait out the hook. This Caitlyn's playing extremely passive. Uh, she doesn't really want to interact with them at all. We want to try to put our damage on the same person so they can't health regen it away. But since we're level two, we really should have been all in fighting them there in my opinion. You can tell we're going to have to roam. We were level 2 for so long ahead of them. But we were playing super safe. And then the moment they hit level 2, then we start playing aggressive. So You can normally tell as a support if you and your AD carry are going to play well together. And when you can tell you're not, I mean, you should try to screw them over. But at the same time, you're going to have to roam so your teammates can win the game. Again, with the Zephyr, auto Q. I, there's the glacial. We got autos on him. If I had ignite or exhaust, this would be a lot easier. Nice. She's gonna take a turret shot. She'll be fine. Uh, I guess she's got TP. Good call. That was a good call. I didn't realize she had TP. Also, they have cannon wave, so it's coming to us. Easy, dude. Caitlyn dies again. That fast. She just got back to lane. Dies immediately. We'll go ahead and pick up a Dark Sill, Boots. She, she's just going to have to stay alive is the thing. Uh, mid, no flash. I'm just going to mute her. I know what the right move is. If I stay in lane, I know for a fact we're both going to die on repeat. That's one of the best things about running on support is you can avoid those non-synergy situations. And instead, for example, even though she's playing the way she's playing, we get a kill for our mid lane. I guess I got the kill. And I can run around with Dark Sill. I'm moving 345. Pretty fast considering I only have one point in Zephyr right now. Get her with an auto W into AQ. We definitely win this. I mean, we win it if Lissandra just fights it, I think. Get him down with our autos. Auto into Q. Easy setup. Nice. And now Pike basically has to follow our roams. He didn't get the knock up on that. That sucks. Get with the W auto. Auto Q. It's glacial. I'm getting a bunch of gold off of him since my ally's here. You see how he's basically not taking damage because Pike's Pike. That's nuts. We could use our potion biscuit and stay on the map. Depends on if we have anything topside to play for. I'll just go ahead and do that. I want to hold on to my mana though. I don't want to steal it. Yeah, we'll go mid again. I can't believe he actually started those void bugs. That feels like such a mistake. Like, stop doing the void bugs, bro. That's trolling. I don't get. I don't get why he's he's actually doing that like unironically. I don't get it. This is a free kill all day long. He slowed. We get him with another slow. We get him with another slow. We put our E on Nar. John is that easy, dude. You don't have to play lane on her. Once you're level two, level three, totally fine to roam. Nice. Yeah, he really shouldn't do those void bugs though. They're not that valuable. Knock him out of the air. Get him with a slow. Keep autos on him. Uh, well played to my teammates. So now we have four stack dark seal. I haven't actually gotten a kill since having it No clue where pikes out. Oh, there he is triple ping for my teammates and 
Morello first item is hella appetizing. We can get heal cut. Now, an even better item, I think, will be Storm Surge for the movement speed or even Lich Bane for the movement speed. Uh, you know, I'll go... That's tough. That's so tough. I guess we could just go Sharia's, honestly. You know, let's go this item. I think Cosmic Drive is being slept on right now. Seriously. Because I think they did just nerf Storm Surge because it was too strong. Only 10 magic penetration, I think it said 12. This gives just as much movement speed, but you get the health, which is really valuable. And you get 25 ability haste versus zero ability haste to wear. I think that'll be pretty good. You get her with the shield. She gets the kill. Got her with the W. Auto Q. Yep. Well played to the Lissandra. We, did, we win this hard if he actually fights that. Jarvis should not have run away. That was a huge mistake. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This Lissandra has been cool. She hasn't been spam pinging me or anything. Obviously, I'm winning her lane for free, but sometimes you get spastic teammates who are just angry at you because you're roaming to their lane. Uh, she's been in good sport, though. She's getting super, super fed. Draven can knock Darwin out of his dash, so he should really stay away from the Draven. It's just one of those things. Get with an auto W, we'll drag it to the Jarvan, just get him to start it sooner. Get him with the shield, give him some extra AD. We have nothing else to do right now. We don't want to show on the map if we don't have to, basically. Now we wait. We want to use support item. Got to kill a minion or hit a champion when we're near our allies. This must be warded, huh? Yeah, this has to be warded. Oh, it is. Hmm. Caitlyn's going to die before we get there. I don't know why we're even going. We really have to focus the Draven here. Hmm. It's just a bad situation, I think. TF use R. No, I had no clues even here, to be honest. Well played by the Lissandra. She cracked him hard. I even ended up with the kill. Lee Sin's right there. Hopefully she doesn't fall for it. I mean, he's still probably there. I have exhaust, though. Alright, cool. He's not here. This is still warded by the other ward. We should really just do dragon. Dragon's the move here. We give him a shield. He's just, he just needs to hit this. We're going to go Zephyr Max first for the movement speed. It's also point and click damage. We only need RQ to apply Glacial. We only need that once per gank. We need to pull this back a bit. This is a oh, he almost got me. Oh, Lee Sin stole it in the end. That's about as bad as that interaction could have gone. He didn't want to pull it out. Lissandra was late to roam. Ah, dang. Yeah, that's rough. That's really, really rough. It is what it is, though. Good smite by the Lee Sin. Could go Sharia's. This item is pretty broken for the cost. It's uh, 15 ability haste. You know what? Let's go Sharice and then we'll swap into full AP. I think the speed up is justified. Still 55 AP. Lots of mana generation. 8% movement speed versus just the file on Cosmic. And Sharice, I think, is only 22, which is stupid cheap. So yeah, we'll go Sharice. Could go into Morello. I'm still going to pick up Robin on stuff like that with my... Uh... Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Malignus is insane on Lissandra. 40 ability haste for her R total. Cool. She's backing at this point. The important thing is that I kept myself alive. That's all my Dark Seal stacks. Trying to get them away from my Caitlyn, but she's goobering. She's goobering hard on me. Put 
put the shield on her so she can get some more damage. Dude, I'm trying to last hit these. So I can't get them. Caitlyn's way too close to this guy. Missed the tornado. That's horrible. If that tornado hits, we might actually end up killing him there. Should be able to run him down for the Zephyr slow. I have my... Uh, Shuri is ready. He's going to hook me from Boosh. Hey, Lee Sin. We don't win that. He needs to come to me, seriously. They're, we're about to walk into the mall here. Put a shield on him. I don't actually have my R auto Q. Very nice. Still have my Sharia's. Didn't use it at all in that fight. Let's go ahead and leave this right here. Not bad. I have a super late level 6 with how I've been playing, but I think it's been worth it. We have 10 kill participation. Almost 100% of the kills our team's got, and we've been there, except for one. Must have been a solo kill in Argot. Speaking of solo killing, I must put that to an end right now. Zephyr's hitting for 212. Not sure really sends that. Let's see. I don't really have good vision here. Should have should have traded with him. I mean, I'm here. We're getting with Zephyr and an exhaust. He's. He, I don't know why he's moving so fast, but he is. He's moving way too fast. Zephyr on his forehead. Nice. I can bait out his dash. All right, I trolled. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I was gonna stop him with my tornado in midair, but I epic failed. Dang! It's time for mesh. We'll go for. I'm not actually sure which one. I know Zach Zax is OP. Let's do Zach Zax. There's probably a better one for Jonas specifically, but I feel like this is fine. Something I could have done with my bad reaction time is to set up a tornado behind me to go forward. That way I wouldn't have to double tap, and I could just press it once. Oh well, it is what it is. It happens. Get him with his effort. Knock him up. I'll have a tornado here in a second. Caitlyn needs to stop taking turret shots though. My goodness, she's taking shots left and right. Nice. My Zephyr, I don't think, would have killed these in there. It's whatever. Oh, I'm dead. Well played by Pike. That was a great hook. Really well played by him. Let's go for... I think Storm Surge or Lich. Either of those is fine. We'll win fights if we're together. Pike's kind of cringe though to fight when you're not five man stacked he does extremely well when he can move around freely kind of like a katarina an ugly version of katarina imagine that i think pike just reset didn't he this dragon's kind of hard to take when enemies are messing with you. This one slows you per every auto. We got a third one down right here. Some loose aerial area vision. I didn't need to lay it too deep inside of the pit as long as it gives some vision. Knocked him up. What tree is this? Uh, she could stay in that fight. I mean, I have my R. But I'll just use it. I don't want Pike to tap me down with his R from one hit. Got her with the shield. Oh, yeah, he's trying to hook from Boosh. What a move. At least didn't die there. We should really just take Dragon. This turret is not really worth we need Jarvan to get his butt over here and quit being a turd, turd sniffer. 
He's too worried about what they're doing. We should just take this while Lee Sin's dead. Sandra goes in, blows him up. She's so strong right now. Lots of burst. Please don't still at least in. I will be very sad if you do. All right, cool. That's what we needed, an ocean drag. Constant source of healing. Oh, he hurts. Auto W. I don't know why he hurts so much. I guess he's got two full items. That'll do it. I can line that up, maybe. I got Draven with that knock up there. I got Pike with the Zephyr. Nice. Alright, I'll take some credit for that. All me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did get Draven with my Tornado, though. Pike wasn't expecting that. He thought Draven was going to be full-fledged in that fight. Almost back up to 10 Mej, man. Lots of movement speed. Let's go for this and this. It's hard to say Emax second or Qmax second. Main problem is Q doesn't get a shorter pull cooldown, but your E does. Because your Q is more damage, uh, more damage per charge, and your E is lower cooldown, more attack damage and shield strength. So, If your Q went on a half second shorter cooldown per level, I'd definitely go Qmax second. Auto in the queue. There's the glacial. You can just leave a shield on her head. I have eight mana per second. My goodness, Riot. That's too much mana. I can practically perma spam. Nice. You need to be careful of that area, though. Sandra's on the split, which is very annoying. I don't think she should be splitting right now. Every single one of her abilities in her kit, including her passive, is AoE damage. We need her in team fights. She, her teleport isn't even up. He jumped into the stun. Fudge muffins. Broski, he jumped into the stun. He was too focused on living. Take this. Oh, wow. He's going for it. We got it, though. Blow them all off me. Put the E on her. Nice. We'll take it. Not bad. Flash W. Got him with the Zephyr slow. I mean, he has slowed pretty good here. Skadoosh. Oh, she got it. My Zephyr was going to kill. That's GG's, man. We do some decent damage. I guarantee you, when we look at the graphs, even if we are the lowest dealt damage in the game, it's not going to be by much. That, consider how many assists we have and whatnot. We didn't get a whole lot of gold from kills. Alrighty. Want to back up my Gnar. My Zephyr missed who I was aiming it on. That sucks. That sucks. I think it would have killed too. I'll speed her on up out of here. Moving 477 with tier 1 boots. Granted, they are fast free boots, but still, it's outrageous. Jarvan with the experimental hex plate. It's probably pretty good on Jarvan. We can go for Swifties or Lucids or even Sorks. I'd say Lucids. 15 haste. We don't have a whole lot of haste right now with this build. The more support items you build, they tend to give you quite a bit of gold, I'm pretty sure. At least they used to. All right, support items still give a lot of haste. Well, Ardent doesn't for some reason. I don't know why Ardent doesn't. Speed myself up. We missed the tornado. He kind of juked himself. I could have exhausted him potentially. I have no clue where Pike is. That makes my position here bad. 
I have to leave. I am out of here. Alright, I gotta go back in now. <laughs> Narc solo kills Draven, what the heck? Uh, is he gonna check over here? Can I get some health real quick? I think I actually kill him there if I didn't mess, if he didn't get the Shen art. <gasps> I almost just died. Oh, the double NATO baby, the Zephyr. Lee Sin's over here. He's trying to catch a taste, a taste of what I'm baking. Ooh, the knock up. Ha <laughs> ha. That was sick. Very nice. Not bad at all. I don't mind her getting it. We all get it if she gets it. So junglers finishes jungle item. That's five red buffs. Stealing red buffs is more, or even blue buffs, I guess. But red buffs way more valuable. It's such a big deal now. Because it's not that, oh, you have one red buff and they lost their red buff. Your whole team gets it at this stage of the game. Ar around the time your jungler's level 12, or technically level 11, they'll have it finished. Like, Lee Sin's level 10, so he hasn't quite finished it yet. His next camp will probably get him to level 11. I kind of need to spend my gold. Morello's way too inexpensive. They're gonna... If I had to bet my life on it, or bet money, I would say 2,600 gold is what it's gonna go up to to match things like Rod of Ages. Rod of Ages should be probably 2,800. Oh, uh, from here? I don't know. Probably a... St Maybe Shadow Flame. Eh. I don't know. Maybe Storm Surge. More movement speed. And some penetration. Moving five, 493. That's huge. I'm not even over there in that fight. Did Draven back? Where the heck did he go? I have no idea. There's somebody pushing top and they're not there anymore. I guess he just based. Pike gets the shutdown, that's bad. Draven gets a shutdown, jeez. Who would have thought fighting without Janna would go so poorly? That's bad. All right, I'm out of here. Not a good fight for us, they got Huge gobs of gold. They got a thousand from killing Lissandra and 450 from killing uh, Nar. Oh, he smited it. What a goose. Blue buff for me. And we can afford Storm Surge. What's back? After Storm Surge, probably Robidon. We're essentially full build at that point. Robidon might end up sell selling Sharia's then. Get some more AP. But we're at 370. Zephyr's doing 417, not including the Zach Zach's damage. 3% max health plus 106 base. 106 base, that's really high. E is giving 57 attack damage. It gets higher per my AP. So 57 AD and a 354 shield. 57 AD is a lot. That's more than five long swords. Each long swords three fifty a pop. This is a bad fight. I'm not in there whatsoever. The fight made no sense. <laughs> Jarvin and uh, Lissandra both went over the wall where I. How are we supposed to get there on that? That's rough. Oh well. Draven's who needs to be focused, not Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate's irrelevant. We gotta put one over the wall, Pike. It's gonna look to hook there. All right, 
or sped up. I don't have my tornado though. Caitlyn just used her net offensively like an absolute goober. Oh wait, why did I shoot my thing that way? <gasps> oh my god. That Draven auto almost one-tapped me. Oh, I had flash. I didn't, wasn't expecting that R. He didn't even try to fight Nar. He just threw R at me. I got him with my tornado though, at least. Ooh, got me good. That son of a gun. Nar lands the stun. He's going to run him down. Push into the wall. Sundered Sky is essentially Divine Sunder, but with more healing. It's bad for junglers, though, because you can't rush it. It, does, it only applies against champions, so it's more of a laner item than it is a jungling item. You pretty much only see it on top lane. So uh, the best way to describe it is a more restrictive, more restrictive, bigger heal version of Divine Sunder. Completely remove Divine Sunder from the game. That just makes no sense. But why though? Draven's about to eat his lunch. That's why I pinged it out. This dingleberry's not listening! Alright, do it! Yes! Got him with Zephyr. Outplayed, I'd say. Hype, the biggest skill cap move of the game. It's just TF and uh, Lee Sin. Got the NATO. Auto this. Press R and she dies. That sucks. I didn't push him with my R, but he did have that shield on, so it wouldn't have pushed him still. Hit him, Caitlyn. Yes! I had him exhausted. What the heck? I hit bro. Come on. He's exhausted, right? You're telling me his R kills Caitlyn while exhausted? He's supposed to do 35% less damage. His R must be true damage. Because she was definitely within his normal kill threshold. It hadn't connected. I press exhaust and he still dies. Outrageous. Hmm. All right, let's go for Rabadan. Zephyr, sixty percent magic damage, and it's slowing for sixty percent. My goodness, I think the slow scales off my AP. Is what's going on? I, my the movements, everything scales off my AP. It's the, the NATO. The NATO damage, obviously, the uh, W damage and slow, and the movement speed it gives, the E shield, the E uh, attack damage it gives, so the shield and the AD enhancement. It's everything, dude. My R heal is a thousand. All right, got him. Skadoosh. Look at his health. He just took 800 damage. My goodness. 800. Aw, oh, that tornado is trash. Got him. Skadoosh. Put a little shield on her forehead. Someone needs to take his shield off. Nice. Zephyr of Destiny incoming. Do it, Jarvin. Do it. <laughs> they don't want to engage off that. Greedy. They're too greedy to engage off that. They only want to fight when it's my head on the line. <laughs> Everybody loves killing Janna. Kind of like killing a Teemo or a Vayne. It just feels good. 
got his flash. That's big. Pike falls off. Freaking rock off a cliff. He's got nowhere to go. He finishes full build before most champions do because of the way his R gives him it's two or three kills worth of gold every time he kills somebody. Boop. I should put my E on Caitlyn for more damage. 1100 heal. We're all full health. Hey, Pike. Got him with the slow, baby. Ow! My NATO would have gotten him too. If it wasn't for his pesky... Uh, I forget what happened, but... Oh yeah, he flashed. Short-term memory loss OP. Zephyr of Destiny, there we go. Shield on Nar. Zephyr of Destiny. <gasps> nice. Alright. They quit. They didn't have the mustard. That was a fun game, dude. John is cracked. She's so freaking good. Best Rome champ in the game. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions on AP John. We did not have the most in the game. But, big but, we had more than, than Jarvan and Shen combined. Come on now. You can't tell me that's impressive. <laughs> These guys didn't do a whole lot of damage, but still, I'm pretty happy with that. Damage taken. Meh. Self-mitigated. Eh. About shielded. I like shielding. Easy, dude. And then for runes, pretty high. All in all, Janna is arguably the best roam support in the game because of her high uh, baked in movement speed on Zephyr. Crazy strong, highly recommend it. If you guys enjoyed this Janna video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.